Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone XR came for data recovery that it shorted and because of that we cannot turn on the phone and take the information. And as you can see the phone had a very strong impact. It fell from the balcony. I don't know which um, a floor uh, has been falling but uh, that's what they told me at least. <laughs> And uh, what makes this video so special, at least for me, is that this is the first iPhone came for data recovery uh, from another city. So this one, I had to make a video about it. Um, so now let's go and uh, see how the phone behaves uh, behaves when it connected to the power supply. My power supply is a little far from my station, but it's okay. You can just zoom in. Here we go. And now we are going to connect the phone to the power supply. Of course, I have a two amps. And as you can see, this is how the phone behaves when you connect to the power supply. It's a fully shorted, but because uh, the power supply that I have is two amps only, uh, I can't assure you that is a PPVCC main short or PPVDD main or PP1V8 uh, short, but uh, I very doubt it that is a PP1V8 short. Uh, so as you can see again, and the power supply it took like two amps immediately because as i said i have a two amps power supply and now we are going to remove the board from the body to see uh, where is the short and we are going to try to repair this phone okay now before we look at the board uh, under the microscope always try to feel where is the heat coming from by touching uh, the board when it's connected to the power supply because we have a very uh, big short and uh, that of course if you don't have the thermal camera and now let's uh, see how the board behaves without any flex or in, it, on, in the body let me just connect the connector uh, so when you connect the connector uh, to the board it doesn't uh, take anything but when you try to turn it on by pressing the power button it immediately takes two amps so my guess it is not a VDD main short or VDD boost or PP bat. Uh, so now we are going to go under the microscope to see where is the short. Now the reason that I removed the shield that protects the CPU is because I felt the heat is under the shield. So I removed it and now we are going to measure where is the short without the thermal camera in die mode using my uh, multimeter. Let's begin. Okay, first off is those capacitors are the PP VDD main, so everything is okay. We don't have a short on PPVDD main. Okay, no short. PP1V8S2, also no short. Now let's go to the. Uh, okay. Let's just check all the lines on the uh, battery connector. I know it's not shorted, but just to check, everything is okay. Okay. Mm, everything looks okay, nothing suspicious. Okay, PP1B8 and PP3 NAND. And as you can see, there is a short on PP3, uh, PP3 volts NAND. But I don't guess it is this capacitor because it looks okay. Now, of course, you can uh, know which capacitor is shorted or the NAND itself or the power management itself is shorted by just looking on all the capacitors or uh, injecting a 3 volt on uh, the line itself. We still have a little capacitor on the NAND. And look at that. I guess this is our problem. This, capac this capacitor looks a little suspicious. So I guess this is the capacitor that uh, causes our problem and we are going to remove it and see if the short is gone. Now let's measure our line PP3V0 NAND to see if our if the short is gone. And as you can see, the capacitor is um, that caused our problem, which is a short on PP3 volt NAND. 
and now we are going to test uh, the phone if it's working and if we got our data back so let's go okay that now our work is done we are going to test the board and the phone for function if it's turning on and we got our data so i'm going to connect a other uh, screen because um, the original one is cracked so i'm just going to turn on the board itself here we go as you can see there is an apple logo and the phone is turning on normally now we are going to wait for uh, wait for the phone to boot up so it's going to be a little tricky or just a long boot up because we don't have any flex connected not the face id not the charging flex cable so we're going to wait i'm just going to speed up a little bit and here we go as you can see our phone is turning on and the data is safe and i guess uh, yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future and as always stay safe and have a good day and i will catch you guys in another repair video peace out